What's up, y'all? We're going to be doing a little recap on the Cleto by Aspire. Um, just to let y'all know, I told you I'd be putting a, a .2 coil in there. I'll be letting you know how I thought about it and what I thought, how it vaped. Um, I did put a .2 ohm coil in there. And let me tell you, I went through a lot of juice. Putting it on 80 watts, put that 2.0 ohm coil in there. Go through a lot of juice. That ain't my style. I like to keep my juice. So I backed it down, put back a, another 0.4 ohm coil in there, backed it down to 60 watts, and you know, I'm still loving it. But I mean, if y'all want to go through the juice consumption, 80 watts did give me a lot more cloud production, gave me a lot more of a um, harsher lung hit, gave me more of that burn, um, kind of warm feeling. But I mean, if y'all want that burn feeling and you know, that juice consumption to go away, I mean, y'all like that? Go ahead. Put the 0.2 ohm coil in there. But no, I'm going to stay with the 0.4 ohm coil and the Cleto by Aspire. I'm going to stick with the 0.4. I mean, same price, less juice consumption. I mean, this is 3.5 milliliter tank. I mean, I'm going to keep my juice consumption. But yeah, just like I said, doing a little short video on a recap on it. I mean, I've had this thing for about going on two weeks or so. I mean, it's a great little tank. I mean, $19. Don't spend the money. I mean, great flavor, great air production, great cloud production. I mean, $19. Oh, yeah. Look at them clouds for $19, man. 19 bucks. Probably get it cheaper online. I don't know. Go check. Go to Aspire.com. Search Cleto. Or a lot of people, they call it Cleto, but it's like uh, Cleto, Clito, or something like that. I don't know. Sounds like Clito. I don't know. But I call it Cleto. Easier to pronounce. I mean, y'all can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it Cleto. Cleto by Aspire, but y'all call whatever you want. Put a 2.2 ohm coil on there. Put a 4.4 uh, ohm coil on there. I mean, 0.4 is gonna get you from 40 to 60. 0.2 is gonna get you from 55 to 80. Put whatever you want. If you got the juice, do a 0.2. If you don't have the juice, do a 0.4. If you like the harsh burn, do a 0.2. If you don't like the harsh burn, the harsh burn, do a 0.4. Um, it's kind of up to you, but whatever. Like I said, I was just doing that little short video for y'all. Told you I'd do it about the point two. Um, told you what I thought. Told you my opinions, my cons, pros and cons about it. I mean, do you like it? I mean, do you want more cloud? Go with the point two. Do you want um, about the same amount of clouds? Go go with point four. Less juice consumption. I mean. But that's my opinion on it. Still smoking on the E Leaf, the 5,000 milliliter amp battery. Um, like I said, that's the iPower by E Leaf. Smoking on about 60 watts still. And that's all I got, y'all. I mean, I don't have anything else for you. Did add a new shelf right here for all my juices and my mods. But, you know, just keep watching and I'll have more videos for y'all. Um, I'll go and buy the rebuildable kit for this, um, and I'll put some coils on it, uh, drop some juice on it, show you all how it smokes. But till then, keep vaping. Thank y'all for watching T and J Vapes. If you have any con if you have any questions about the overall product, any questions about the point two on coil or the forearm coil. Drop me a comment. I'll answer any questions you need. Any problems you're having, just let me know. I'll be glad to answer them. And again, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll have more videos for y'all. Until then, thanks for watching TJJ. TNJ Vapes. See you later.